Good morning, everybody. Uh, we recently had some problems in our pond. We got our pond out here on the property that makes some fish out of it. It's got some bass and stuff like that in it. Well, I had a problem with some fish dying off. I don't know if it was just so hot during the summertime. It's not getting enough oxygen in there. So the solution we came up with, we kind of watched some uh, YouTube videos on some stuff and uh, ways to fix that problem. And one was to get a uh, like a pond fountain in there for aeration and introduce a little more oxygen in the water for the fish. So we're like, no problem, we'll go online and buy one. Well, the problem with that was that we're two thousand dollars for a, for a pond uh, fountain ready to go. Um, started looking a little more and trying to figure out different ways to do it. So. <coughs> Bless you. So what we came up with was uh, building one ourselves, kind of, I guess, a DIY redneck pond fountain. Um, look, my whole life I've been doing stuff like that, getting ideas and trying to figure it out and making it work. So that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully this works. Mm -hmm. So we went online and we found this big uh, submersible pump. It's a 110 uh, power Submersible pump, it's heavy. It is a 9,000 gallon per hour pump. Um, so we're gonna use that pump, and then we got an outlet out there at the pond already. And then um, we're just gonna show you today how we're gonna build this fountain. Uh, also went and for the base of it, it has to float. So we went and got a 55 gallon drum for our base. What we're gonna do is that we bought that for like $10 at a factory over in Groveland. So we're gonna cut some of it off. We're just gonna use like the top six inches at the bottom of the barrel and then foam fill it. Use some flex seal to seal it all up. I don't know where this is going guys. Come along for the journey. Let's see if it works out. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is cut this line. Just keep it six inches all the way around. Uh, that, and then we're only gonna use this top portion. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. Alright, so you see we marked it out, perfect diameter for the set to go through. We've got a hole saw here, so we've got our center mark. Now we're just going to drill it out. Alright, so what we have, I cut this piece, it's 8 inch. It's 2 inch pipe, uh, schedule 40 pipe, 2 inches, 8 inches long. Alright, my goal here is I want to make this head that I'm going to make, it has to be able to come off and on in case we want to change it out or in case I screw up the pattern and it doesn't look good I can not take the whole thing back apart so what I've done is get some fittings that will allow us to do that so the first thing we need to do is we get some glue out it's just standard PVC glue and cleaner uh, it's pretty cheap and get it hardware store about eight bucks um, whatever you do do not smell the glue Oh, okay. It's bad for you. It's bad, it's bad for, you. for you. It's bad for you. Do not smell the glue. It's very bad for you. So don't smell it. Okay. It's very bad for you. Very bad. All right. So with that being said, wow, that's just powerful, isn't it? Yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and put some glue on this. It can cause cancer, so don't smell. It. Everything causes cancer, son. I'm gonna put that on like that. Then we are going to stick it through here, and this is going to hold in place like that. So that's going to be our base for it. So now we've got that in. This will allow us to screw that in and screw it off. So let's put this aside for now. The next phase is this. I don't know if this is going to work. It's super sketchy. I'm hoping it works. We're going to give it a shot and see. So I got this um, foam. You know, like you do cracks and stuff like that. Only problem is not waterproof, so I got another hillbilly solution to fix that maybe. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to create the foam in here for the flotation. So I'm going to start it off just really. Oh, I got to turn this thing off. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Science is feeling it. I'll either edit that out or I won't because that's kind of fun. Let's not edit it out. <laughs> So let's fill this up. You can see we're going to start with all around there to seal it up. And this foam will expand, so we're just going to keep going in circles, making sure everything foamed up here. We got a couple of these, so.
Like I said, y'all don't roast me too hard if it doesn't work, so I'm just experimenting. Put that glue down, son. And it's rehab, 11 years old. So I said. Uh, just want to make sure you're not got a lot of air in there. I'm trying to fill it up where the air doesn't come in. Hope you guys can see this good. I might have to go get more cans of this because I haven't even coated the whole bottom yet. We might need more cans. I got one more can here. Yeah. I think I got another can somewhere. Whoa. So we'll get back with you when we're kind of close. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, three whole cans of the expandable foam in here. Uh, I don't know, I know it says it expands, I don't know how much it expands. We're gonna kinda put this last piece on, set it in the sun, see what happens. So this will allow us to transition from a larger diameter pipe, okay, it comes on the three inch. So it's gonna allow us to go from three inch to two inch. You wanna make it as short, the run as short as possible to where you have as much pressure for your fountain. The more, the shorter your run is, the more pressure you're gonna have out of that fountain. So we're gonna go from a three inch to a two inch, or yeah, from three inch to two inch and reduce down. So the biggest thing right now is I want this whole thing full of foam. Like I said, we're gonna let it sit in the sun for a little bit, see if it expands out. If it doesn't, then we're gonna to have to send our production crew down well, to go get some more foam at the hardware store. We have a couple other things we can do while we're waiting for this to happen. So we'll get back with you in just a few minutes. So. This is our pump we got. Looked on eBay, started searching around for submersible pumps. A few different ideas and ways to do things. Um, this was the largest submersible pump I could find. It's 9,000 gallons per hour. This particular pump comes with 33 feet of line uh, to plug in. It comes with this one fitting right here. Um, so basically we can screw this fitting on like this, put it tight. Remember this is all gonna be underneath the water. Anyways, we're going to get this as tight as we can on here. Because we do not want that to go down. So that goes on like that. And then we screw this piece in. And this gives us, basically starts with a PVC connection. So that goes on like that. Our first piece of PVC pipe we got is this 3 inch. And with this 3 inch pipe, we're going to probably try to keep this. I want the whole thing to stay about probably underneath the float, probably a foot and a half underneath the float to the bottom of the pump. So we're gonna keep this kind of short. So we'll probably have this at about 10 inches. So we got our piece cut, end up cutting it at 10 inches. Like that. Put this in place. And we'll just let that set up. So now we're gonna make the fountain part. So the actual head of it. So what I got was just a regular uh, three inch cap. And um, this is my backup one, but I took this, spent a little bit of time and laid out how I wanted this done with a marker. Um, it's gonna be three different size drill bits. So this one right here is um, three eighths of an inch. Then we got a quarter inch and an eighth inch bit. All right, as you can see, there's this, the head we came up with. Um, it's all angled in. So I, I, at, my thought is this, this outside will come out like this. This is a little less. And then there's a bigger head in the middle that's gonna come straight up. In theory, that's supposed to be how it works. We'll see what happens. We're gonna clean this up, put this all around it. And we'll go ahead and put this in place, and that will allow us to make the final connection for the head. Remember what I said I want to make this to where this head isn't working? I don't have to redo all this stuff. That's it for that portion of it. Here's a flex seal. This is a little more expensive. It's basically liquid rubber, rubber coating. And what we want to do is just seal up, and I don't even know if I have to do it, but I'm going to seal up all this foam on here to make it watertight since this is gonna be in the water at all times. So just gonna make sure we get this coated real good. Nine eight cents can, Home Depot. It's just some spray paint, cheap spray paint. That's it, we don't need it that close, son. Cheap spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint the outside of this just where it looks more uniform. We're all done. 
we'll give it some more time to dry and then we'll take it inside flip it around and do the top real quick and we should be pretty close to putting this thing in the water and trying it out we have got this just about wrapped up um whole thing's painted and dried this is the final piece here this is actually where the sprinkler like i said i want to make this removable in case this doesn't work out i don't have to redo all the stuff we just did today so what i did was just put a coupling on there with threaded coupling to where i can take it on and off if i want to change the patterns i can do it find something cooler that we want out there then we can change that out or i can buy one offline if this doesn't work how high it's gonna be it or powerful yep so it's screwed on in place and the only other thing we got left to do is we'll put this to the side for a minute there we go Hold on that, so it doesn't fall. Now we'll move our pump into place. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm gonna glue this onto the pump. It's glued up real heavy. I'll set this down on top of it, glue it into place. And the flex seal, it actually does feel like rubber. Hold this tight, son. sealed underneath to where it kind of holds it we put these eyelets on to where we can have some anchor points down on the bottom to hold it in place in the center and of course we made our head up there now the question okay. is oh god will it flow we're, so gonna we're, gonna go. give, we're gonna give that a little bit of time to set up we're gonna put this up in my truck load it up Love. we'll see you out there hopefully it works out so we got this all set up we got it in the back of the truck we got it out here to our pond uh Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and set up. These are our anchors for keeping it in place. It's sturdy. Sit down, son. Hopefully, we don't end up in the pond. Will it float? Ladies and gentlemen, so when will it float? Alrighty, the moment of truth is in a couple more seconds away. Probably. So, you gotta say know. anything? We already know it floats. We were hoping that. We gotta get it kind of leveled out. And I gotta extend this cord. I thought didn't think we were gonna need that much, but... We'll see what happens here in a minute. There we go. Redneck fountain. We got to straighten it out. Look at it go! Now she's going. Woo! Oh, I just want to jump in. And, and, um, oh, I'm going to take the kayak out there in a little. Yeah. Let's see it. So now. Here, you can hold it. The reason this is here is because we're having fish issues in our pond. We try to keep this pond stocked for the kids to come and fish in it. We got. Uh, a bunch of bass we have a bunch of uh bluegill. big catfish and bluegills and the neighborhood kids Turtles. get to come down here and fish along with my kids they enjoy the pond they're right here at the house so we don't have to run and do anything but the oh, fish were dying off water. and what we wanted to do was uh get some aeration in there create a little more oxygen in that water and this was our solution so we're hoping we get a little more aeration Nine thousand gallons per hour is what it's supposed to filter and we'll see how that helps out. And that's it. Okay, go, go, go. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Today, uh, we were sitting here editing it. I realized I didn't have too good of an ending on it. So um, I'm glad it worked out good. I had my doubts at the beginning of the project, but two thousand dollars a lot of money to spend on that pump we had to figure a way we needed the aeration in there and we had to figure a way to get that done and not spend two thousand dollars uh total money in this pump is probably two i think it was 240 dollars for the pump and then we got about 50 or 60 dollars in pvc glue and all the other accessories that we needed the flex seal and all that kind of stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it please hit the subscribe button and like we'll see you next time